For those of you who like Eye Sky, fantasy, action, comedy, and a little ecky theme, I recommend you to watch this anime. It's all about Rokugu. As a chief operative of the villainous Kisaragi Corporation, the Kisaragi Company is an underground criminal group whose ambition is to conquer all planets in the known universe. They send Rokugu to infiltrate the Kingdom of Grace, a mission that will change the fate of the world. Rokugu has a special ability every time he commits a crime. His evil points will increase, and these points can be exchanged for any object he wants. Then, will Rokugu's mission to infiltrate the kingdom go well? Watch till the end. <laughs> to ensure the success of the mission, Alice Kisaragi, an extraordinary android with the appearance of Loli, named after the company itself, is assigned to be Rokugu's traveling companion. Just as they arrived on the planet, they were immediately attacked by a bunch of monsters. Luckily Alice was able to defeat them with a weapon created from Rokugu's evil points. A knight of the Kingdom of Grace, Snow, comes up to them and asks them the reason why they came to her kingdom. Of course they can't be honest. Through a persuasive approach, Alice manages to convince Snow and invites her to meet the princess Tillis. Then, Snow takes them to see a legendary artifact that serves to bring down rain, but the artifact has long been broken. Alice tries to help by repairing it. The artifact could be activated by reciting a password. While Alice was resetting the password, Rokugu instead recited an inappropriate word. As a result, they will both be punished, however. The kind princess Tillis pleads with the king to take advantage of them. They were forced to help the Kingdom of Grace against the Demon Army. Rokugu accepted the task. He asked the kingdom to recruit two more members to join his group. The first person is Rose, the artificial combat chimera. She can absorb the unique power of the demonic beasts it eats. The second person is Grimm. She has the power to curse others. Grimm tried to tease Rokugu, however. Rokugu unceremoniously opened her skirt so that adding Rokugu's evil points, humiliated, Grimm asks Rokugu responsibility, but he didn't care and instead sparred with Snow. Instead of being serious, Rokugu grabbed Snow as a pay and made her angry. Rokugu got a mission to destroy the supply unit belonging to the demon army. With his evil face, he managed to frighten the demon army and take over the supplies. Haina of the Flame, one of the demon lords elite four, suddenly appears intending to fight them. While Haina was introducing herself, Rokugu was busy taking pictures of Haina's sexy body. The two of them fought until help for Haina came and crushed Grimm who had just woken up sadistically. Before Rokugu had time to take revenge, the two of them fled after killing Grimm. But take it easy, Grimm doesn't die, she can come back to life thanks to the demon blood that flows in her body. Grimm revived with renewed vigor, Rokugu took her around while disturbing people who were dating, making Rokugu's evil points increase. Rokugu humiliated a strategist who had underestimated him because he didn't know that it was Rokugu who had repelled the demon army. Tillis tells the ancient legend about the Chosen One who will protect her kingdom. Rokugu feels that the Chosen One is himself, however, Tillis continued that the Chosen One was her brother, the prince. The king received news that the Chosen One had been defeated by the demons of the top floor of Duster Tower, Gil and Rista, Rukugu and his group was ordered to attack the Duster Tower. When they got there, he chose to wait until the evening. So as not to be detected, he along with the others climbed the Duster Tower carefully. Even so, Snow almost fell, but Rokugu managed to save her while taking the opportunity for his personal gain. Rokugu managed to reach the top of the tower by sneaking his way and kicking Rista almost making him fall to the bottom of the tower. Rokugu threatens Gil not to move, otherwise, he will throw stones at Rista which will make him fall and die. Gil had no choice but to remain silent and accepted his body being stoned by Rokugu and the others. Still having other dirty ways, he asks Rista to pay. So he will give up Gil's dying body to be saved. Rokugu's evil points increase while the Demon Lord army decides to withdraw from Duster Tower and return for his services. Rokugu and Alice were paid a bag of gold coins. 
The following morning, the general gave Rokugu an emergency mission to confront Haina of the Flame, who wanted to attack the Kingdom of Grace. Rokugu and his army went into battle against Haina's army, but instead, they attacked individually to find their respective opponents, while Rokugu was forced to fight the very powerful Golem. Rokugu was rendered immobile against the Golem, until he was forced to release the safeties on his combat suit. Thanks to that, Rokugu managed to throw the Golem and Alice blew it up using C4. However, as a result of release the safeties of the combat suit, Rokugu was unable to move for three minutes due to the cooling process. He asked Rose and Grimm to protect him as long as he couldn't move. Haina took this opportunity to attack Rokugu with her powerful fire magic. Before that happened, Grimm cast a curse on Haina so that she couldn't move. Snow moved quickly to attack Haina and struck her magicide so Haina could no longer do magic. Knowing this, Rokugu's evil thoughts threatened Haina and tricked her into erotic poses to get her magicide back. Satisfied with taking Haina's sexy poses, instead of returning the magicide, Rokugu put the magicide into his pants. Haina immediately went and withdrew her army while increasing Rokugu's evil points. They were all partying because they had succeeded in repelling Haina's army. Snow, who had separated from the party, was heading to Rokugu's room and overheard Rokugu's conversation with Alice that they were Kisaragi's spies. Snow takes action by expelling Rokugu and Alice from the Kingdom of Grace. Rokugu made a hideout while making a teleporter to Earth, but it took a month to complete. Because of that, Rokugu and Alice had to survive for a month while facing the demon army. Rokugu needs to collect as much evil points as possible by perverting every woman he meets. <laughs> Those evil points were used to trade the mines he planted to hinder the demon army and put them on the route that the demon army would take. They return to the city and hear news of the chosen one mysteriously missing. Not wanting to get into further trouble, Rokugu and Alice decided to leave the kingdom. Princess Tilla suddenly come to see Rokugu and asked him to stay longer to help the kingdom. In exchange, Rokugu would be forgiven for spying on the kingdom of grace. On the other hand, the demon army moved to attack the Kingdom of Grace, but many of his army fell due to the mines planted by Rokugu earlier. Haina saw her magicide lying on the ground. Although it was a trap for her to get hit by the mine explosion, the explosion injured her and destroyed the magicite. The battle finally began. Haina and her army managed to overwhelm Rose and Grimm. Rokugu took the princess away with him for safety, but Snow stopped him because she wanted to ask Rokugu for help to save Rose and Grimm. Rokugu changed his plans to save them, but his evil points had run out. Snow offered Rokugu to squeeze her a pay, but Rokugu preferred to just kiss her. But just as Rokugu was about to kiss her, <laughs> Rokugu pulled down her panties instead, and that was more than enough to increase his evil points. Rokugu traded the evil points for an anti-material rifle to destroy the golem and managed to save Rose and Grimm, however. Haina, along with one of the other four demon lord elites, Gadalkin, headed straight for Rokugu. To fight them, Rokugu exchanged points for an anti-armored sword and released the safeties on his combat suit, so he could attack the demon army with all his might. With the new weapon, Rokugu can defeat many enemies and kill Gadalkin, the result of the battle made Rokugu ask Haina to make a truce for one month. As a reward, Rokugu received a kiss from Snow as a thank you for helping her kingdom. The following day, Princess Tillis asked Rokugu to escort Snow to import water from the Kingdom of Taurus, because Tillis didn't want to activate the legendary artifact by reciting the password, Duck Festival. Rokugu and the others went to the Kingdom of Taurus in a car that was exchanged from evil points, arriving at the kingdom. Rokugu angered Grimm for calling her appearance like an old woman. Grimm used her power to curse Rokugu to make him impotent and lose his appetite, but Rokugu managed to dodge the curse. Shortly after, the prince of the kingdom of Taurus, Engel, appears before the guests and welcomes Snow as the ambassador of the kingdom of Grace. Snow, who is insane in rank, immediately seduces the prince so that she can become his empress in order to live in luxury forever. Rokugu and Alice left the party and went to the dungeon to check something. There, they meet one of the Demon Lord Elite Four, Russell of the Water, and also Haina. Rokugu immediately moved quickly to hold Haina hostage so that Russell couldn't do much. 
he also sexually harassed her so that his evil points continued to increase. It turns out that the Kingdom of Taurus has sold water and made an alliance with the Demon Lord's army, Rokuga let go of Haina, and went to the prince for an explanation. In order to get the prince to re-establish an alliance with her kingdom, Snow makes a move by tempting the prince to choose her over Haina. Haina didn't want to lose and tried to be more seductive. However, the prince, who was already famous for his depravedness, became dispassionate after being hit by a curse from Grimm. Rokuga thinks that the prince can beat his libido. He feels challenged to beat the prince by performing an art performance for him, the Duck Festival. <laughs> Due to Rokugu's foolish actions, the Kingdom of Taurus declared war with the Kingdom of Grace. Having failed to import water from the Kingdom of Taurus, the princess asked Rokugu to take a nut that could produce a lot of water in one fruit in the Sand King's territory. Rokugu along with the others went to the Sand King's territory and took a large number of nuts. Without them realized, it turned out that they had taken nuts from the Sand King's body as a result, they were chased by him. They managed to survive after jumping from the car and using the car as bait so they could escape. But as a result of the incident, they collected only one. They had to walk through the desert in order to return to the kingdom, having run out of food and drink supplies. Rokugu had also run out of points to exchange for something. Rokugu ended up trying to add up his points in various ways regardless of anything else. When Rokugu lifted Snow's skirt, the evil points did not increase. Rokugu thought that if the subject was not threatened then the evil points would not increase, meaning Snow had enjoyed it. They continued to suffer for several days exploring the desert, until at some point, Rose intended to eat Rokugu. As a result they fought each other, but in the end Rokugu got a lot of evil points for fighting against the little child. Rokugu exchanged evil points and returned to the Kingdom of Grace, the princess meets Rokugu and asks him to retrieve an ancient weapon that could defeat the King of Sand in the ruins. They headed to the ruins and see Haina and Russell investigating the ruins. Rokugu also intended to follow them and attack secretly when Haina and Russell had managed to find the ancient weapon. After passing through various traps, Haina and Russell managed to find the location of the ancient weapon. Unbeknownst to them, Rokugu came from behind and attacked Russell, knocking him unconscious. While Haina was taken hostage by Rokugu, Russell immediately moved quickly by getting into inside ancient weapon that turned out to be a robot. Taking advantage of Rokugu's carelessness, Haina fled to the Demon Lord's base using teleportation, but Haina arrived there without a bra, because the bra she was wearing was stolen by Rokugu. Russell attacked Rokugu and blocked access to the exit of the ruins and locked them inside the place. Alice makes a plan by asking Rokugu to buy time and fight Russell alone, while Alice will assemble a weapon that can match the robot. Rokugu finally managed to get out and exchange evil points for many weapons to face Russell, but his attack had no effect on the robot at all, leaving Rokugu seriously injured. Luckily, Alice arrived on time and immediately used her creation weapon called the Destroyer. Alice, who controls the Destroyer, is able to match the robot controlled by Russell, even defeating him. Three days later, Rokugu woke up from his stupor, and he also thanked Alice for saving his life. He also considers Alice as his best partner. Then, Rokugu come to Russell who was imprisoned and offered him to be the water source in the Kingdom of Grace. At first, Russell had refused, but Russell was forced to accept the offer because he didn't want to be harassed by a tiger man, who really liked Lilikon, even though he knew that Russell was a boy. At the end of the story, Rokugu lives with his normal habit peacefully with his comrades, and he also plans to stay on the planet a little longer in order to build a harem for himself. <laughs> Honestly, this is one of the interesting Ice Sky anime to watch, especially the comedy wrapped in Eki that is inserted into this anime although this anime genre is not actually eki. For those of you who like watching harem anime, don't miss this anime to add to your playlist. Indeed, the action in this anime is not very interesting, but it is covered by a good storyline and comedy elements, which are quite entertaining for those of you who have just broke up with your girlfriend or boyfriend. So, if you are curious about the full story, 
please watch it on your favorite anime platform. And if you are still interested on other anime, try checking the video I recommend on your phone screen. Stay healthy, and see you soon.